Hello crafty friends, I'm Lin from Studio Kato and I'm so glad you're joining me again today. Today I am back with another fun cute Christmas card for reverse confetti and I really love this one because it's pink and I am a sucker for pink Christmas cards. Now the whole point of this video was the backdrop and I was going to emboss it. I did emboss it, but I didn't film that part. Now I think it was good because that allowed me to demonstrate it with colored ink so you can actually see it um, <laughs> instead of the clear embossing ink that is basically invisible on camera. Anyway, I am using the pattern pen the patterned panels stamp set by Reverse Confetti and it has this gorgeous text stamp that just has uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas over and over. Um, I love text backdrops like this and I love it when they fade out. So that's what I'm doing. I am inking up the stamp and then just rubbing away some of that ink around the edges. I did that with embossing ink and then heat embossed it with wow bright white super fine embossing powder and that is the panel you see me working on right now it doesn't show up much in the video but the text is very visible in real life even if you don't do any ink blending um, but i did want to add some color to this panel so i used the piggy bank ink by reverse confetti which is a really lovely soft pink ink and i am making sure to keep my blending super light that's why i'm taking a lot of time blending this really tiny piece um, because i build up the color very slowly I use a really light hand well blending and I also dab off most of the ink before I bring my before I bring my brush to the paper. And once I'm happy with the amount of pink on that panel, I can move on to my critter and I am again using the Polar Party stamp set by Reverse Confetti. I stamped this image in Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I am coloring it in with my alcohol markers. And usually I speed this up a little bit more, especially when it's such a uh, small or such a easy image to color. But I figured I'd show you more in detail today because I did something that I do all the time, but because I don't have a ton of images to color, I can spend the time talking about it. Now, as always, I go from dark to light with my coloring, but with Images like this with a large open area, I always have trouble making it smooth. And that's what I'm doing right now. I am smoothing things out by going over everything once again with my lightest marker. Now this does darken up your final result, but I think um, I prefer the smooth blend over a lot of contrast. So I choose to do it this way, but if you're better at using alcohol markers, you probably don't have any issues with smoothing things out and not having to darken up your whole entire image for doing it. Now to complement the pink card, I used some blues and some yellows for the gift that the bear is holding. And once that's all done, I can fussy cut it out. Now I figured that I wanted my bear to be a little bit grounded on this panel and I also wanted to add a more noticeable sentiment. So I'm doing two things at once. I am using my sentiment as a piece of uh, grounding for my image to sit on. Now I am stamping this on top of white embossing powder. So this is not going to be a perfectly stamped sentiment. It will stamp out perfectly but the embossing powder will resist some of that ink even though it's pigment ink and i do clear emboss this on top of it and that even reactivates some reactivates some of that white embossing powder underneath it so the white embossing powder does show through a little bit the sentiment is still very legible it's just a merry christmas everyone knows what the sentiments are on christmas cards it's not that hard to figure out so i just prop that panel up onto some cardboard to give it some extra dimension and i glued that on top of a pink panel 
which is also glued on top of a white note card. There's a lot of gluing happening. There always is in my cards. I like my layers. I propped that bear up on some foam tape and now I am adding some heart embellishments. These are clear, the crystal clear heart embellishments by um, Little Things from Lucy's Cards, which is a lovely little shop and I highly recommend you check her out. Now once that's all done, I am making a super simple matching envelope just out of some pattern paper. I love this pattern paper. It's a lovely pink pattern paper, but it also has that Christmassy vibe to it, especially on the inside of the envelope with those swirly red patterns. Um, I have a bunch of this pattern paper. I don't know where I got it even, but I have so many pages of it. So I figured I'd make a couple envelopes with it. I hope you liked the card and I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. I also have a blog post on the reverse confetti blog today for this card and I highly recommend you check out the reverse confetti blog for a ton of inspiration from the design team. There are so many talented people on there and every week that I get to post there, I have to pinch myself that I'm part of the team. So I hope you check out the other inspiration and I also hope you subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.